Hi guys, this is Lydia, the lifestyle coach, and we've got a holiday coming up, right? Woohoo! So whether you celebrate Easter or not, every store is filled with all of the chocolate eggs and the Easter whatevers and the bunnies and the fluffy things and all edible stuff that a lot of times as binge eaters we can be really scared of. So I wanted to give you guys just a couple of tips going into this weekend because I don't want you to have to be afraid and I want you to get even closer and closer to freedom so that you can enjoy your life. You can enjoy holidays. You can enjoy candy even if you want. So I want you guys to be able to have more confidence going into this and just share the love here. Call out your chatter all about Easter. Um, so. The first thing that I want to talk to you about is this illusion that we have about holidays. So we have this idea of, oh, okay, so now it's a holiday. This means this means something, right? Like this 24 hours means something special, means that there's food that you can't have at other times, that we don't allow ourselves to have at other times, and we start getting a lot of anxiety around it. And then the clock kind of starts ticking of, okay, well, there's only, you know, 10 more hours left of Easter. There's only, you know, five more hours left of Easter. And then we feel like, okay, we've got to get everything in before midnight because we would certainly never eat this way again, and we only eat this way this time of the year. So those are a couple of you know pieces of chatter that can come up. It's the last chance chatter. It's the holiday chatter. It's the I never get this stuff chatter. So realize that time is made up. 365 days a year, seven days in a week, 24 hours in a day. It's all totally made up. It's just a way that we as humans decided to separate time. So there's nothing... There's nothing special about a holiday is in it's a 24 hour day, right? So first know that that's totally made up. And then the, the next thing to think about is the restriction chatter that comes up, right? Remember, restriction chatter is binge chatter. So when we go into it, oh, well, this is, you know, a special time that's going to end and it's, you know, coming to a close sort of thing is when you realize, oh, there's a lot of restriction chatter. Of, oh, I can't have this stuff. So take a deep breath, and what if you just reminded yourself that you can have this stuff anytime you want, as much as you want, just anything. Like, that's always an option for you. If you're like, well, you know what, like, I can't have Easter candy all the time. You know what, yeah, you can go on the internet, and you can order Easter candy in the dead of winter. You totally can do it. So stepping into that place of, like, you know what, I can you literally can have this stuff any time. But isn't it interesting that a lot of times the spell kind of gets broken after the actual day? So don't believe the lies. Like, don't believe the chatter. See it for what it is. So those are a couple of things. You know, remember, time is made up. And remember that you literally can have this stuff any time. And those are things that are going to help you. And I know how difficult it is to be excited about holidays and the food that goes with it and also terrified of it. I was just thinking, you guys, about a Christmas morning. I was so just stressed out and worried, like to the point of tears, about all the sugar that was around. I had had so many Christmases before that where I would literally just eat and eat the stuff that I never let myself have and I would make myself like sick on Christmas. And so this one Christmas morning, I was just so scared of that again. I had made myself promises over and over and over. And that holiday was like a reminder of, wow, you're still not better yet. Are you really going to die a binge eater? Are you going to be bulimic for the rest of your life? Like, it was so terrifying. And so I went upstairs and I literally missed Christmas morning because I was so scared of food. And I don't want you guys to miss any more special days because we put the meaning on it, right? So like whatever is special for you, even if that's an everyday like, hey, I just, I just want special days to just be my life and to actually be able to enjoy it. I don't want you to miss any more special days, holidays, meaningful times because of a relationship with food that doesn't serve you. Like let's let's get free and 
if if we if we haven't chatted know that I have free sessions like free 45 minute breakthrough sessions where you can get on and chat with me and I have had so many women say this was the best thing that I have ever done for my binge eating ever like I have women who like insist like no I have to pay you like that was the most amazing 45 minutes and it's totally changed things for me and no like no you can't pay me this is this is what we do we have an amazing team so it may be me or another member of the team that's specially trained in this but we're gonna get you that solid first step to recovery which is that clarity so if you go to lydiawenty.com slash apply there are a bunch of openings. We open up as much time as possible so we can get to everyone. I know like there's a there's a waiting list and a lot of you are looking for a good time and I know that they go quickly. But just go right now. See if there's a time that works for you and then just go for it. And let's chat. I don't want you to I don't want you to have to have any holidays or special times ruined for you. Like food does not need to enslave you. So that's what we're here to do. Hopefully those little tips are some things that you can integrate into your Easter or just this weekend in general. And this is Lydia, the Lifestyle Coach, signing off. Mwah.